I was talking to Yolanda at Hava and she got me really excited about this countertop dishwasher. And I said, Yolanda, you have to send me one of these. And she said, okay, great. And so she did. And I've been using it for several weeks and I'm going to tell you about it today. I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, part of my job is I get to review products and some of them you will never see because quite frankly, they're not worth showing you. But this one I got really excited about because we do a lot of business with Airbnbs and a lot of Airbnbs are not full kitchens that they're offering their guests. They're offering them small mini kitchens and a portable dishwasher is perfect for a small mini kitchen for an Airbnb. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about it and how it works, but I want to uh, paint the picture real quick and I want you to be thinking of this in the back of your mind. There are a lot of offices that have coffee bars and the coffee bars use coffee mugs, regular real coffee mugs, and people rinse them out and they leave them by the sink or whatever, and they use them every day. During the pandemic, everybody has become super hyper aware of sanitization. The portable dishwasher runs with no plumbing. It's super easy. All you do is there are a couple of cords in the back and the couple of cords in the back just sink over to the kitchen sink. And there's a little tiny adapter here, which is a little suction cup. You just stick it on the inside of the sink right there by the faucet. And then when you start the dishwasher, the water just runs into the sink and then you don't need any plumbing. I know, I love it, it's super cool. So the cleaning crew can come in, they can pop all of the coffee mugs in the dishwasher, run a cycle of the dishwasher. When you show up to work in the morning, everything is sanitized and clean and ready to go. All right, so this is it. I'm gonna open it up and show you and look, a light appears. It's like magic. One of the things that's important about this is it does come with a three prong outlet. And so you have to plug it into a grounded plug. You cannot hook it up to an extension cord. So it has to be near a regular plug. That's a 120 volt plug. And it is a 900 watt dishwasher. And so it's very strong. It's very powerful. I mean, it's a dishwasher, right? And it's uh, got an A plus plus electricity rating. So it's going to be super good for you as far as washing and drying your dishes. I want to point out how many dishes this holds. This is so super small and compact compared to my regular dishwasher that holds lots of dishes, but this holds four place settings, which are four plates, four saucers, four bowls, like salad bowls or soup bowls, and then also four cups. And so it holds a lot of dishes, which is really great. Like I said, for an Airbnb, this is one of the things that got me excited about it. When you go to an Airbnb and you're the cleaner and you're cleaning, whether you like it or not, whether you want to or not, you have to wash all the dishes because you don't know if the people that just stayed there used some of them. And if they washed them themselves, if they washed them by hand, if they didn't use them, if they put them away dirty, you just don't know. So you have to wash the dishes, whether you like it or not. Now this has a magnetic close. So when you close it, you want to make sure that it closes all the way. I was doing a load of dishes and I goofed. I didn't close it all the way. And I thought it was closed, but it wasn't. And when I turned the water on, water started spitting out the top of it. And then I was like, whoa. And so I hurried and I grabbed a towel and I was able to wipe it up. But just closing the door, you got to make sure it connects with the magnetic connection. All right. That said, when you turn it on, you turn the button on for three seconds. And that gives you the options on the top. One of the options on the top is for fruit. And you're saying fruit in a dishwasher? I know, but I washed my lunch in there this afternoon. So what I did is I put a bunch of apples cause I just bought a big bin of apples and some grapes. And it comes with this fruit basket. And I know this doesn't look like fruit. Don't let me trick you. Um, but you put it inside the fruit basket and then it just goes right inside the dishwasher um, when all the dishes are not in there, right? You wash the fruit separately from the dishes. Uh, what you're seeing here are brushes for uh, the drill brush and a lot of house cleaners. This is another use for the dishwasher. A lot of house cleaners like to wash their cleaning supplies inside the dishwasher because it sanitizes them between jobs. Also in the dishwasher, um, I use a mesh bag for all my steamer attachments. So the steamer attachments just go in the back and then it sanitizes all of those as well. There's only one con to this dishwasher and it is the cutlery container that comes with this dishwasher. It has a little lid on it that I think is perfect for straws. So if you have straws and if you're in an office building, awesome, right? It's great for straws. Otherwise it's just going to make you mad. <laughs> I, try, I tried to put all of my silverware 
inside the little uh, pieces, it doesn't fit. And I'm like, why do I have this really chubby silverware or what? Like, what's up with this? So you just take this off because this will make you mad. Otherwise, all your silverware fits in here and it does fit in with the dishes as well. But the perfect uh, possibility for this also is to put all your OXO deep cleaning brushes in it when you're doing a load with your cleaning supplies. Also, while you're doing this, you can also wash your non-scratch scrub sponges. The non-scratch scrub sponges we know you cannot use in the microwave. You can use a regular cellulose sponge in the microwave, but not a non-scratch scrub sponge. And so this is really great to put all of your sponges in there and wash your sponges at the end of the day, along with your brushes and your OXO deep cleaning brushes, and then also um, your steamer attachments. And then if you have any other small items that you use, just a mesh bag will work. Now, in order to clean the dishwasher when you're done, all you need is a damp microfiber cloth. So you just open it up literally and wipe it down, wipe the inside of it down and you're done. I mean, that's it. It's plastic on the inside, very durable. It's easy to clean. And I will tell you something about the drying cycle on this. The drying cycle is 60 minutes and it dries everything amazingly, but it has a cycle that runs for 15 minutes every 75 minutes, as long as the door is closed. And so it will prevent bacteria and odors and stuff from building up inside your dishwasher if you leave it and forget about it. So this is a, a benefit that I really like is the auto cycle where it just kicks on and it dries for a couple minutes and then it kicks off again and it does that automatically. This light that kicks on, if you close this and you walk away, it will stay on for a couple minutes and then it will automatically shut off. So that's kind of a cool feature where you can walk in and see if your dishes are done or not. And as your dishes are rounding up the dry cycle, the light will kick on just to let you know like, oh, hey, it's me again. I'm done with the cycle. So that's pretty cool. All right, so to fill it up, it holds 1.3 gallons of water and it comes with a pitcher. The pitcher, you just fill up to the top line. There are little lines on here. But you just fill it up to the top line. And on one of the cycles I was doing, I forgot to put water in it. You just open the top here and then you take the water, fill it up at the kitchen sink and you just pour it in. So it's easy but I forgot to pour the water in. And what was cool about it was there's a little alarm and a red light. It was like, wah, 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 wah. and then I kept filling it up. And when it was full, then it automatically started the, the load of dishes. So it will give you warnings. And in the uh, manual, it has a whole bunch of instructions. Just in the event that there's a glitch of any kind, it lets you troubleshoot and it tells you exactly what the buttons are for. It tells you exactly, here's how to fix this problem or whatever. So it's, it's really user friendly. It's super easy to use. It's great for kids toys and animal toys. So there's a section on here for baby care. So I, I love the fact that I can wash my fruit, my cleaning supplies, my dishes, my dog toys. I love it. Anyway, so it does get the Savvy Cleaner seal of approval. It does everything that it says it's supposed to do. Um, I've really enjoyed using it. And I know that there are lots of uses where you may benefit from a smaller unit rather than a regular size dishwasher. This would be if you live in a high rise apartment complex in New York City, or if you live in a really cramped space, if you live in a garage renovated unit that doesn't have a dishwasher in it. I know lots of people have a downstairs, like a, a media room where they eat down there and they watch movies and stuff. And then instead of taking the dishes two flights up to their kitchen to wash them, you could have a portable dishwasher down there just to wash them. And then you have them again for the next time you watch a movie. So there are lots of uses for it. It's super affordable and you're going to get your money's worth after just a few uses. So I highly recommend it. I'm going to leave links in the show notes. If you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. We'll have Hava jump in and answer those questions as well. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Wait, 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 don't go away yet. I completely forgot to tell you about the soap. It does require dishwasher soap. <laughs> And I like the powder kind. This one has the little spigot where you pour it. I, I don't know why I forgot, but you need soap for dishes. Okay, so you open the door and there's a little nugget pouch right here. And you can use the little nuggets or you can use the powder. I like the powder, you only need about a teaspoon. You pour it right here inside the door and then when you close it, it does wash your dishes. You do not use the soap for fruit, but I do use it for cleaning supplies and for dishes. Okay, whew. I'm so glad we got that covered.